Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us. We are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever in his faithfulness to all generations. Psalm 100, verses 1 through 5. So I took this um, stabilizer bar link, which goes between the stabilizer spring and the um, and the strut here. I took it out of this hole here, and I did that on both sides. So there's the other side. So I have both of those loose, and now when I turn the steering wheel. A different sound and the remaining noise I believe is coming from the bearing that's uh, in between the, the body and the strut and so I'm gonna see if I can get a replacement bearing for that these are aftermarket stabilizer links they have no grease fittings on them and I think if they had, had grease fittings on them I probably wouldn't have had this problem. So unfortunately, to get to the bearing, I had to take the strut out. And I didn't uh, didn't show how I got that out because there's already uh, some pretty nice videos that show how to do that. So I figured I'd let you look those up. So the bearing is in this top section here. And so in order to get that off of there, there's a bolt inside there that has to come off. And you have to compress this spring um, before you do that, otherwise you won't get that bolt off. So I rented uh, these spring compressors from a local auto parts store. And there is the bearing, you can see it. All I have to do is get the nut off. And I broke down and went and brought, bought an impact driver to, to do this job because I did it once before without one and uh, it makes it a whole lot easier. So that's the tool that I bought. About 90 bucks, I think. So um, you can get them more expensive, but I don't use it that much. So I figured I'd go with the cheaper version. And uh, it made pretty quick work of tightening those things down. And so now I'm going to try to use it to take that nut off. And hopefully it, uh, it just comes right off. Okay, so that thing still wanted to spin. So what I ended up doing was I used my vice grips right up at the top um, next to the cup. I don't think that's ever going to get down inside the uh, strut itself, so you don't have to worry about you know any marks I made on the shaft up that high uh, doing it, but uh, so I put that on there and I held that and then I just uh, you know gave a, a few shots, you know, sudden shots with the impact and it uh, it did come off. Okay, a little comparison here. This is the new one. You can see it spins pretty freely. And this is the old one. Kind of binds. We can go this way. Freeze up a little bit there, but it's still kind of rough and sticky. So I'm going to line this up. With the mark on here where the spring was. So let this go underneath your hand for a moment. Okay. 
Let me pull that up. So now let go quickly. All right. Put that on there. This goes on. And there's the spacer. And the nut. So now we'll start letting out the springs. Okay, so there we have it. It's back together. Put it back on. So I replaced the top bearings on both struts. And I replaced the uh, sway bar links on both sides. And these uh, replacements that I bought have a zerk fitting, so they can be greased, which probably would have uh, solved the problem without replacing them. The old ones had had that. And so now when I turn the wheel, don't have any of that noise that I had before. So looks like that took care of it. Thanks for watching.